Hey guys, Danny from TNG Real Estate, and it is the beginning of January, so Happy New Year to you. Um, if you are thinking about selling in the next couple months, you know, it is the spring selling season, um, I would just like want you to consider it a couple things, and make sure you contact me ahead of time uh, so that we can talk and discuss a strategy to prepare your house and get it ready to get it on the market. Now, the three things that I want you to consider is this. Number one is price your home right. I know it's tempting to think, wow, it, things are just going 90 miles per hour right now in a 65 mile zone. I'm gonna just put my house way up there, even 50,000 over uh, the, uh, you know, the value of the neighborhood or even 100,000 and I'm gonna see which buyer is gonna to bite. And I would encourage you not to do that because the goal is to get as much traffic through the property as possible and let the buyers have a bidding war and let them drive up the price. That's the best strategy, the best way to do it. And remember too, your, pro your property does have to appraise. I have a, a friend, she was using her cousin as a realtor and they were 50,000 off on the appraisal. So, and she was on the buyer side. So they had to like start kind of uh, negotiating again, kind of restart again. Uh, so that could be a big, a big headache. So you want to avoid that. You definitely want it to appraise. Uh, if you can find a buyer that has some more cash flow uh, that they could pay the difference if need be, um, that's something to consider also. Uh, but that's not all what it's about. It's you know finding the right buyer for your house, especially if you've made memories in that home. You know, the average, uh, the second thing I want you to consider in selling your home is the average uh, homeowner stays in their house now for about 10 years. Back in 1985, it was about five years. Then the years after that, it was like six years, the average. Uh, but um, in the last two years, it's been about 10 years that homeowners have stayed in their house. So what does that mean? It means you are developing more memories with your family and it's, it's hard to kind of let go sometimes of a home where you've had su such great memories. And so, you know, that's something can, to consider too, that you have to be careful to separate your emotions from the price point and, and selling your house because, uh, you know, you might have done some fix up things that you fixed up the property and, you know, those all add value, uh, especially the kitchen and the bathrooms. Um, but you have to uh, set your emotions to the side. And, but when you're considering a buyer, you know, money is part of the, part of the deal, but part of it is handing it off to a, a wonderful new family uh, who would make great memories in the home too, just like you did, right? Well, um, the, the third thing that I want you to think about is, is how to stage your property. So we have to declutter the home. That's really important. We want to make sure that um, things are nice and open and that you kind of depersonalize the home so that people can see themselves living in the house there. So I can help you with that. Um, I can also call on a professional stager if need be, if we need to do that. And those are all things that I want you to think about. Those three things think about as you look to put your house on the market. And I would love to assist you. So reach out to me even ahead of time so that we can kind of prep you and prep your house for uh, the sale of your home. All right, take care, you guys. God bless you.